Hey everyone, I was really sick of solar panels that don't perform. So I put this massive domestic 400 watt solar panel that came off a house. It was a reject on the roof. Now we've got a mobile solar farm. Have a look at the results. The results are the fridge is running and I've got an old 2019 Optima battery sitting in a battery case and it's on a float. It's only using three watts of the solar putting in 0.1 of an amp to maintain the float set voltage of 13.8 volts. Bada bing, bada boom, how good's that? The sun, it's afternoon sun down on an angle through the trees. Any other solar panel, you wouldn't get anything. You'd be struggling. This thing is an absolute machine. Yep, another half an hour later. Still just using three watts, sitting on 13.8 volts. The sun is behind the trees. I just don't get it massive panel awesome look, the sun's not even on the panel it's just a bit of light through the trees there's that sun supposedly oh, amazing so i wasn't sure what was really going to happen with this setup in case you missed it subscribe turn the bell on it's in the youtube channels 4 before adventures 4 before diesels on the facebook groups oh my goodness you can see the whole back of the patrol setup now and all the stuff that's in here but an old 2019 Optima 55AH, it's a D34, the marine battery, the blue top, awesome. Uh, runs the fridge day and night, um, solar panel, temporary wire comes in to the regulator, it's under there. It's a Victron, of course, 100 slash 50, um, bada bing, you get the app, plus the digital output on the battery box, 50 bucks on special, cheap setup. It's not a dual battery setup, it's a independent battery setup. You could just take this out and use it any way you like with that panel. Anyway, short video. Hope it helps. There's some information for you. If you um, subscribe, turn the bell and we'll catch you on the next one.